I want to talk about some controversy last night, and that is the Bangladesh game and Sri Lankan game. The first time ever, Skull, that uh, a player has been timed out. And it was hard to believe, it was hard to watch as well, but this is what happened as we roll the vision. That's the wicket that falls. Uh, Samara Wickarama, he was out for 41. They were three for 135. So you get two minutes, Skull. Yeah. And then Angelo Matthews, he gets out there with one minute to go. He faces up. Allegedly, and that's what he's saying. Strap breaks on the helmet, <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, Bangladesh go, "What's going on?" Appeal, and he's timed out. Yeah, look, the laws of the game. So you've got to be ready to face up. Was he ready to face up? I think he was. Culpability. I, I, I'm putting it on Angelo. Okay. I put. You, you reckon, you reckon he was ready to face up? It didn't look like it to me. He's still standing up, he's sort of playing with his helmet. I wasn't sure if he's actually tapped I... his bat ready to face up. So that obviously the umpires have interpreted that he wasn't ready to face up. And, and Shakib has appealed to the umpires and said, how's that? And the, I think the umpires just gone, well, in the rules, um, you're outside it. That's him walking off the ground, obviously not happy. But I think being a, he thought he was inside the two minutes. Yeah, look, my, my, my take on this is that Shaki was asking why it's taking so long. They've, you know, wasted two minutes. But I reckon he did face up. He was ready, and then he, it's not his fault. The strap broke. I mean, it's a it's a, a malfunction from his equipment. The umpire should have had said, OK, it's an issue. I know it's the rules. However, on this occasion, his strap's broke. Get him a new helmet. Let's all push on. I think it's the umpire's fault. He was playing from behind. Why did it take him a minute to wait for the outgoing batter yeah. to cross the line? Surely he had point. to meet him 30 metres in which would have given him 20 extra seconds. Mm. But a it's one a minute. It's a game well, skill, so. oh. You're right. Let's have a look at the quote. This is Angela Matthews slamming the time down at Smithson. Never seen a team or player stoop so low. It was obviously disgraceful from Shakib, the captain, and Bangladesh. If they want to take wickets like that, there's something wrong drastically. And Strong then um, within two minutes, yeah. I was out at the crease. That's what he's saying. My helmet broke. So he was saying he was ready inside the two minutes. The umpire saw this. I still had five seconds left. I showed my helmet to the umpires and said Bangladesh had appealed. So I asked, where is the common sense? Uh, because the two minutes hadn't passed. That, that, that's the point. I, I just think common sense should have prevailed here. You know, it, it's disappointing. And from a Bangladesh perspective, they've won this amazing World Cup game. We haven't even spoken about the result. All we've been so, talking about is this, this incident yep. with Angelo Matthews. So oh. I, I think it's really disappointing from a Bangladesh perspective. So you do get two minutes. You've got to be ready to go and then, that's what he's saying. He's saying, I was ready to go, but my helmet broke. He did drop the bat to adjust the helmet, so he didn't actually hadn't shaped up. So that, I, I agree with us there. But culpability everywhere. Shakib Al-Hassan, Matthews and the umpires. All three combined for this incident. I think but the point the, that you raised, though, it yeah. took him a minute to get over that, yeah. Yeah. that, that uh, mark. You know, the, yes, the bat was walking off slowly, but get out there, like, get the energy, go out and face the ball. But if, if you're... Shakib, captain of Bangladesh, are you going to retract your appeal there or are you happy to say, no, nah, they're the rules, you know, because I'm not sure I can keep that Live appeal. with it? I, I wouldn't want no. to be remembered for that. And he's going to be remembered for this now. Yep. For the rest of his career, he's going to have to live with that decision that he, he um, and upheld that, uh, that appeal. I think he should have withdrawn. And it was a match-defining um, wicket, yep. wasn't it? Because Angelo Matthews could have got them to an above-par score. Mm. He's, he's one of their best well, players. Umpire should have stepped in, in my opinion. Yeah. Still plenty to talk about. I'm sure they're going to fire up and try and come Bangladesh. All right, this is the points table, boys. Uh, straight into third position on ten points. New Zealand, Pakistan, Afghanistan, all these games are live, Scott. They are. If Australia wins tonight, they're assured of playing South Africa in a semi-final. Um, New Zealand are fourth. Uh, and they are in a position where, if they beat Sri Lanka in a couple of days' time, convincingly, they'll lock up fourth, you'd think. Yeah. But if they get beaten or only win narrowly, Pakistan, one slot below them, has to win convincingly against England mm. and they can sneak past them. But that's assuming that Afghanistan lose tonight and then lose against mm. South Africa. If Afghanistan was to beat Australia tonight and beat South Africa against all the odds, they can jump everybody and cause and make it's a fight. Exciting. What a story that would yeah. be. Be a great story, no doubt about it. So New Zealand, um, they play ahead of Pakistan. So Pakistan will know what they need to do to get that net run rate up us. That's a big advantage for Pakistan, knowing what they need to do. So New Zealand are in that sort of precarious position. Yes, they've got to win, but do they go really hard and try and win as big as possible and risk losing the game? Um, but Pakistan will know exactly 
that uh, how big or you know small the wind needs to be, and so so that's definitely an advantage. But if New Zealand take care of business, then it's going to be very difficult for Pakistan. What about that guy there, Verakola? Sits up the top, 289 matches, 4900s, as you said, being a, um, is he the best ever ODI player? Well, he's at the top, isn't he? I mean, it's it's hard because different eras. Um, I love what he said in the press conference afterwards that, you know, he's me sitting equal with uh, my hero growing up, Sachin Tendulkar. It's, it's a lovely, um, you know, note to Sachin Tendulkar because he is a superstar, but Coley, he's got to be close, doesn't he? Amazing how many less games he's played than Sachin Tendulkar to equal the number of hundreds. Now, I agree with you, you can't really judge different eras because the, the rules are slightly different, you yep. know, with the field restrictions and things like that, but... All right, that, that well, record is... It says it all. Mate, don't get Warner's down there, won 57-22 matches. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. I mean, yeah. That's, a great, that's a great record as well, Scott. Yeah, it is indeed. And, and, and when you look at Coley, what he's done chasing as well, that's yeah. why he's mm. such a weapon. But if you if you get under par, he runs you down. Mm. Yeah. Right. yeah. And he's still fit. Right, he is oh. indeed. All right, boys, uh, next six games, this is where it all counts. England, Netherlands, don't worry about them. <laughs> New Zealand, Sri Lanka, that is a big game. New Zealand need to win to get into the semi final. South Africa already there. Australia and Bangladesh. Uh, but England, Pakistan, uh, that, is a, that is probably a big game massively, obviously, for Pakistan. Yeah, so, so that's what, as we were saying earlier, that they play after the New Zealand Sri Lanka game. So they're going to have a bit of a look to see what we need to do from a net run rate perspective to try and jump New Zealand. Um, uh, on the table. If New Zealand are a fair way ahead on that net run rate, so if they have a good solid win against Sri Lanka, I think, Skull, you probably know the numbers a little bit better than me, but they're going to have to win very, very quickly against England. Sri Lanka will be upset yeah. about losing to Bangladesh. That could fire them up a bit and maybe be tough for the Kiwis. Oh, it could. Might, yeah. mm. If New Zealand win narrowly, then um, at the moment, Pakistan have to beat England if they bat first by 130 runs, if they chase within 29 overs. Mm. So that that's heavy pressure. Significant. And it always comes but down to net run rate. You know, yeah. the teams, we always mm. talk about this at the back end of the, the mm. sort of cup, but mm. you've got to speak about it at the start as well.